Hello, my name is Mike Adams, and I'm the Group Product Marketing Manager for the VMware vSphere product line. Each time VMware introduces a new release of vSphere, it delivers over 100 new features and enhancements. vSphere 5.1 is no different. Let's take a look at some of the new features and enhancements that will continue to make vSphere the industry's leading virtualization platform and the key enabler for the vCloud suite. In the networking and security area, we're introducing several new capabilities related to our vSphere distributed switch. Inside the vSphere distributed switch, we'll offer new features for health check related to virtual and physical components. So for example, if you have a mis mismatched VLAN trunk within your environment, we'd be able to spot that and make sure that you can go and effectively set up your network according to how virtual machines will interact with each other and interact with the outside world. In addition to that, we will also offer a configuration backup and recovery capability. So if your configuration would ever to die, you could go ahead and recover that configuration very quickly and easily. You could also use that configuration as a template for deploying new networks out into your environment. We'll also offer a rollback technology for patching the distributed switch that would enable you to go back to a good known setting should you have some type of issue as you moved forward. Or if you were in a dev and test scenario, you could go ahead and go back to two or three configurations ago just to see how the network would interact. We'll also be adding support for LACP for the distributed switch. LACP is Link Aggregation Control Protocol, which allows us to have better utilization across the network and also helps us to do remote diagnostics. So we're very excited about all the new capabilities inside the distributed switch and are adding even more new features such as RSpan and ERSpan. Another element that we're very excited about is the inclusion of the vShield endpoint technology into the vSphere platform. Previously, we had offered vShield as a separate product that you could use with vSphere, but it didn't come along with the packaging of our technology. And now we'll be able to offload that AV uh, virus scan and malware scan uh, to any of the integration points that we have with many of our third-party security providers. In addition to some of the capabilities that we're introducing with uh, networking and security, we're also introducing some great new features in the area of management. The biggest component there is the all-new vSphere web client. This is the new predominant interface into vSphere that will allow us to introduce better scalability, better performance, and a lot more customization than you've ever seen before. So through using uh, an Internet Explorer interface or a Firefox interface or even a Google Chrome interface, you'll be able to interact with the vSphere platform like never before and also won't need a specific device in order to be able to do it. You can go ahead and use any web-enabled device to access our vSphere platform. In the area of availability, there's a lot of new technology that's going to significantly change how many of you look at protecting and keeping your virtual machines alive over a period of time. The first is going to be an enhancement we're making to vMotion. vMotion is one of our core and revolutionary technologies that really sets VMware apart and has done so for some period of time. With this introduction inside of vSphere 5.1, we're going to enable not only a vMotion activity to occur, but also a storage vMotion activity to occur at the same time. What this will allow us to do is actually do that vMotion activity across a network, rather than relying on just having shared storage in place. And so this opens us up to a lot of new interesting possibilities for migration without having to have a SAN in place, for being able to do vMotion over distances, and a variety of other pieces when you have a planned availability scenario. In addition to that, we're taking the vSphere replication technology that we had previously offered with our Site Recovery Manager tool and now putting that into the platform as well. So you can still use that with Site Recovery Manager as the essence for your DR plan, or you can use it as a way to move VMs from one location to the next. The last piece that we're offering inside of the availability technologies for vSphere is the all-new vSphere data protection. vSphere data protection replaces the vSphere data recovery technology that we've offered with previous releases and is dedicated to providing backup and recovery for your virtual machines. Now we still offer our API functionality for those of you using third-party tools to integrate with vSphere, but vSphere data protection provides a complementary technology that would allow you to protect remote offices, smaller pockets of the environment, or a variety of other VMs that you may have out there and are running business critical types of applications. So some of the other new components of the vSphere 5.1 release include larger virtual machines, 
Previously, we had talked with vSphere 5 about how we were enabling 32 virtual CPUs and one terabyte of RAM VMs. We're now taking that up to 64 virtual CPUs and one terabyte of RAM. Now, the number really isn't the important part there. The key piece of enabling larger virtual machines are really twofold. One is running business critical applications, which you need to do, and as uh, applications start to uh, scale, you need to have larger virtual machines that are available at your disposal. The other side is we know that many of today's smaller shops are going to become larger shops over time. And if you're going to invest in a platform that's going to sit around for a while or be part of your environment for a while, you need to go ahead and have these types of scalability mechanisms built into the platform. In addition to that, we'll also offer a new virtual machine compatibility mode as well as zero downtime upgrades of the VMware tools moving forward. These are really critical usability elements that we need to make sure that we have as we put more and more business critical applications into the vSphere platform. We'll also be adding enhancements to the vSphere auto deploy feature. In doing this, what we're really going to do is enable two additional modes that we've never offered before. We'll offer a stateless caching mode as well as a stateful deployment model that will help us be more available during the actual deployment of virtual machines. So should the auto-deploy virtual appliance have some type of failure or some type of issue, the deployment of that particular host will continue to take place. We'll also be offering some better installation models for all the components that come along with the vSphere auto-deploy feature. In addition, we'll be looking at enhancements to vCenter Server and vCenter Orchestrator. vCenter Orchestrator is our built-in workflow automation platform and we're going to introduce a new workflow engine for that platform, make it easier out of the web client to enable those workflows, and really use that as the basis for providing and really uniting a lot of the functionality that you'll see inside of the vCloud suite. And of course, VMware is also very excited to bring vSphere to you as part of the all new vCloud suite. The vCloud suite delivers a complete integrated cloud infrastructure stack that simplifies IT operations while delivering the best SLAs for all applications. vSphere is the foundation of this new offering. Thanks for taking the time to learn about what's new in VMware vSphere 5.1. I'd like to invite you to come back to VMware Now often, as we will be adding more content to the VMware vSphere platform. For more information, you can also visit VMware.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm.